Look on the screen. Beautiful queen. Unfortunately, beautiful girl, uh, she is now gone along with her unborn child. I believe uh, he was weeks away from being born. Uh, as I understand, there are no suspects or person of interest, no one in custody. Mother deceased, so is a child. Gee, I wonder who it could be. More than likely, the father. That's my guess. Maybe daddy. That would be my guess. She didn't die, I understand, in the car wreck. Showing murder. Let's check it out, folks. Fair use. Live from the local station, News 4 Jax starts now. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is now investigating the death of this pregnant woman and her unborn son over the weekend as murders. The family of 21-year-old Felicia Jones shared that photo with News for Jax. Reporter Renee Benatti is live from Riverview Park where her body was found over the weekend. Renee, Jones' family spoke with you. Tom, I did talk to her family, who is obviously devastated. They talked, uh, her aunt tells me they were preparing to celebrate the birth of her little boy in just weeks. Instead, mm. they're now preparing to lay their two loved ones to rest. Now, here's a photo of Jones at her baby shower. Her family says she was due to give birth to her son, McKyland, in less than two weeks. Yeah. JSO says around 6.30 Saturday morning, the 21-year-old's body was found by a person walking here in Riverview Park. Her unborn, so her unborn son, excuse me, also did not survive. Initially, the sheriff's office announced they suspected foul play. Today, News 4 Jax confirmed their deaths are now being investigated as murders. Because she is carrying a... Uh a child on the inside of her, that's another life, another human being. If she dies as a result of what the suspects did to her, shooting her, stabbing her, whatever manner of death it was, uh, then that person will be charged with a double murder. Details are extremely limited on this investigation. It is unclear how Jones was murdered, where she was killed, or if there are any suspects. Of course, we are working to gather those details. Now, tonight you can see there is this Crime Stopper sign here at the park. The sheriff's office says if you have any information about this case, call Crime Stoppers. Tonight, her family is also pleading for answers so they can get justice and closure for their loved ones. Reporting live from Riverview Park, Renee Beninati, Channel 4. How many women with child pregnant end up being killed by their lovers, boyfriends? That's going to be my guess on this, unless she was just some, you know, uh, wrong place for one time or someone, you know, just some murderer on the loose. More than likely... I'm willing to put money that it might be the, the the baby daddy or the boyfriend. As you can see, there's a reward, $3,000. Even if there wasn't a reward, I hope someone can come forward with the information. The number here, 1-866-845-TIPS. 1-866-845-8477. How many times does this have to happen? And it's like lately, some of these women, and I remember a lady saying this in Atlanta, saying the attorney, she went to go file, what is it, uh, child support on the baby daddy. And the attorney literally was saying, she's advising women, hey, just don't file. And I thought, like I said, that's crazy. Uh, no, he, file, because it takes two. We know it's not going to be there emotionally, physically, but uh, financially. That's what leads a lot of women into poverty. And that's why a lot of women can't uh, realize their true potential because, you know, motherhood, they're dedicated to their child. The ones that are, you know, you're not number one anymore. Your child is. So your education, a business, anything you may want to pursue will have to take a back seat, especially when you're raising a child alone. There are no breaks. You're a mom 24 seven. If you're a single mom, you're a single mom 24 seven. You can be in a relationship or married and be a, a single mom 24 seven. If the other party, the husband or boyfriend is not contributing to the well-being of you and the child. So these men, a lot of times when a lady said that the attorney, I'm like, that doesn't make any, you know, what's going on with it. And then it was in Atlanta saying, hey, and this is not Atlanta, Atlanta this is actually Florida. 
a lot of women are being killed file child support child up uh, child support uh filing or order of the court can lead to murder and I don't know what these derelict dusties of all races are thinking because you murder someone. Oh, I don't have to pay because they're both dead. Are you going to be the main suspect? But I thought to myself, well, that's why that a lawyer, that attorney is saying that because the women are ending up dead. And I'm starting to see there's a correlation here. There are quite a few women end up pregnant. Oh, she went to go meet with her boyfriend, her baby daddy, and she didn't come back. And now she's gone. One guy was married. He was a cop and got the girl pregnant. Uh, they were going to court. She met with him. What he didn't know where they were meeting at, there were, it was like, an, I believe, in a park, perhaps. Yeah, there's a camera there. You're the last one seen with her. You go to talk, and next thing you know, she never leaves that, the premises. You do. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if that is the case here. Women being married by their lovers, especially baby daddies. These men do not want to be responsible. Don't want to be responsible. They're not going to be responsible. And they automatically know what's coming. Oh, time the child gets here. Yeah, she's going to go ahead and give birth and put me on child support. Ladies, if you got a man like that, and he's like, you know, hey, you know, shorty or whatever. He doesn't want to be on child support. If there is any kind of hint that this guy is not up to the job, which I think you automatically know when you tell him that you're pregnant, uh, his response alone pretty much sums it up. You don't need to have no three and fourth conversation when you're with the man and you have a relationship or however, whatever the dynamics is. A uh, three-day relationship, three months, three years. When you tell a man you're with child and it's his child, his initial response sets the tone. And you ought to know by now who the heck you're dealing with. Not blaming anyone for the murder. I'm saying we got to use critical thinking skills. So when you tell a man that you're with child, uh, how he responds to that tells the whole story. If he's not gung-ho, will start making plans with you or what are we going to do? Any kind of little hesitation, you know you're on your own. Guess what? Be wise. Stay alive. Don't be pressuring this dude. What I'm going to do and all of that and you know I'm with this. Don't do all that, ladies. You might get a little sassy, but let's try to keep it classy. Be wise. Stay alive. He doesn't want to be there. It doesn't take rocket scientists to figure out, well, let's see. He's kind of indifferent. He might be keeping it calm, thinking of planning how, long, how I'm going to get rid of you. So please be wise. Stay alive. Uh, you see any kind of hesitancy on these guys or he's like letting you know he doesn't want to be a part of it. Actions speak louder than words. Don't do a whole lot of yank yank. And I don't know what happened in this situation. I am just speaking in general. Don't do a whole lot of yappity yap yap. Be wise, stay alive, and just handle your business. Don't start calling these fools. I need this. I need that. He knew how to be there uh, when you were, uh, uh, when your stomach was flat. He knew how to be there then. So don't do a whole lot of yakety yak and explaining all that and what you're going to have to do. Uh, I know that's probably a very highly emotional time. Don't get into all this. Well, I'm going to put you on child support. You're going to see when I put them, that judge, or one of the girls said, put them white folks in your life. Don't even go there. Don't. Be wise. Stay alive. Just have your child. Try and stay safe and do whatever the heck you're going to do later when the child gets here. So, like I said, I don't know what happened, but, you know, I can just kind of imagine in some relationships when women realize, you know, okay, this guy's not going to be here. I am on my own. You won't be the first. You won't be the last. It's been done before. You just have to be strong. And in the BC, uh, it might be a 1% chance of saying, hey, I'm pregnant. I, we got, I'm waiting for the baby. Uh, I wouldn't wait around for a ring. I mean, I, me personally, I wouldn't be dating. If I was trying to date, I wouldn't even be dating in the BC. I, I, yeah, that's not my thing. And, it, and it's okay. Everybody's different. I'm not saying not, not to. You got some decent black men. I, th I think it's very few. You may have to date 75 to get to that one. Hope you got the time. I don't if I was, you know, trying to date. So this right here. Uh, hopefully there will be an update. Hopefully there will be an arrest. But I would not be surprised if it's the baby daddy. 
Why? Because quite often that's who it is. Anyway, thanks for listening. Look forward to your comments. Uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button. And guess what? Stick around for the next video. I'm out.